Today's sales strategy. If we sell our business, can we afford to retire? Hi everyone, I'm Steve Savant, host of the daily talk show, Let's Get Down to Business. And I'm Don Prent, Senior Advisor to Ensmark. Don, we're talking about a sales idea today predicated on the valuation of a business. So most business people, if their business is the majority size of their asset for their entire net worth, they always want to know, hey, can I retire if I sell my business? Will I have enough income? And I want you to walk us through this because in this case, this couple asked for $440,000 a year and you have several iterations using Insmark to show us how and why this works. Walk us through it. Sure. We used Insmark's Wealthy and Wise software, which is comprehensive wealth planning software. And the basic idea is you get all of the client's assets and you plug those in, plug in growth assumptions, some are liquid, some are illiquid, and then you project out in the future and you can ask the program, hey, we want this much retirement income, are we gonna run out of money? How much will our net worth be over time? Mm -hmm. If we use cash value life insurance or, uh, to replace uh, some of the investments uh, that they currently have, in this particular case, we had a client who owned a business. And sort of the first thing that we had to do was use, we have a different product called the Insmark Business Evaluator, which is a very sophisticated platform uh, that allows you to look at uh, the client's business. And then it compares, it's powered by a company called Biz Equity that compares to millions of other small businesses and comps and gives you a very accurate valuation uh, of the client's business. And that becomes another asset that you plug into the overall Wealthy and Wise analysis. In this particular case, we had George and Marie Grove, that's the client, and they wanted to know if we sold the business now, you know, how much do you think it would be worth? And if we took that sales price, could we retire now uh, with the amount of money mm -hmm. that we want and not run out of money? And what would our net worth do over time? And so that's the premise of this particular case. Well, when you think about it, that, that's really common among normal, uh, everyday biz, small business owners. And when I'm looking at this, we're looking at the basic strategy one, which is really pretty much laying out their, what they have today. So we kind of got to know what's going on. Walk me through this graph. This is the present day, the present value of sure. their business. Sure. We plugged everything in Wealthy and Wise. The first thing we did was we used the Ensmark Business Valuator. We valued their business at about $5 million. We plug that in along with their other assets, and these, this uh, couple is doing very well. Uh, they're 65 and 60. Uh, they got a $5 million business. They've got some other assets. You can see that their net worth starts at about $9 million, and over the next 30, 40, 45 years, their net worth stays pretty level. And in addition to that, this particular plan was able to pay them out their retirement income that they wanted, and they told us they wanted about $440,000 mm -hmm. a year of uh, retirement income. And we, if we keep that retirement income level every year, their assets can fund that and still stay at about $9 million. So that's sort of the first case mm -hmm. strategy one. However, when I, when I read this case for the first time, I said, yes, their net worth stays the same as you just said. Yep. And they do receive their $440,000 a year as we predicted. But the problem is I'm looking at inflation cutting into that $440,000 buying power. And I think this graph is really illuminates to so many people because we're looking at this level number, I'm getting my 440,000 in, but the power, the purchasing power has been diminished. Talk about this graph to, to, to really give us an idea of what's going on. Sure, again, we showed the 440,000 level, but with inflation out at the end, 30, 40 years from now, it dropped from 440,000, the actual purchasing power dropped to 186,000. And that's assuming a 3% inflation rate. So. While we were able to fund their 440,000 a year level and their net worth funded that and also stayed at that $9 million mm -hmm. level, their purchasing power is declining every year and pretty significantly out at age 95. Well, I think it's really important for all of our advisors who look at this. We, I love showing this graph. It really, to me, shows the importance of COLA. Yeah. I mean, this to me is a real dramatic idea. Now, when we're looking at this, let's talk about COLA. Let's insert that into the equation. Now, at first, this doesn't look good because he does, he's not at 440. Talk about that. Well, we wanted to ask the Wealthy and Wise software, mm -hmm. okay, um, if we still want to keep the asset, the net worth from declining significantly, where do we need to start so that we can add a 3% cost of living adjustment? And we can't start at 440,000 because it'll crash their net worth. Sure. So the answer was we could structure about 300,000 a year with a 3% cost of living and still have the net worth stay 
pretty, mm. pretty level. Mm. And in that case, you can see that by age 95, we went from 300,000 and then with cost of living, we end up at $700,000 because it's growing each time. Mm -hmm. Well, now that's interesting because really, I think if I heard you right, the reference point for the calculation was based on maintaining at least the same net, net worth that they were looking at. Yeah, keeping it pretty stable. Okay. Now, what happened here? We're talking about now a whole new strategy. What is, what in this graph, what are we looking at? We're looking at the same thing, only in more of a pictorial 3D dimension. What are yeah, we looking all at? All this is showing is if we start with the lower income, instead of 440,000, we start with a 300,000 mm -hmm. index for inflation. This shows the net worth starts at 9 million and ends up at about 10 million. Mm -hmm. So this graph is showing you that based on that income coming out over the next 40, 45 years, mm -hmm. what happens to their net worth? And this just proves that at 300,000 a year index for inflation, their net worth doesn't crater. Hmm. I like that, and, and I think when I'm looking at these graphs, I like the comparison of yeah. taking strategy one and strategy two. Yeah, again, this is showing net worth of both. One of the great things about Wealthy and Wise, the software, is you can run a number of different scenarios and then you can compare them all in one graphic. And here you can see, here's the net worth changes, which stays very level, assuming 440,000 a year level, Here's the net worth, assuming 300,000, but with the cost of living adjustment. You can see strategy one versus strategy two. I like that, and that, again, shows the basics. Just walk me through this, though. I love the accumulated spending cash flow box. Yeah, what this shows is with strategy one, you're getting 440,000 a year level, which is $13 million over time. And with strategy two, because you've started lower, but you have the indexing, mm -hmm. you actually get uh, 14 million, about a million dollars more uh, in total payments during retirement. Now, of course, this is all predicated that the client's going to be okay with taking less money, even with the COLA, though. Yeah, you're go you've gone, one of the negatives, if you've gone from 440,000 level down to 300,000 that's going to be indexed, and that's kind of a, that's a big decrease. George asked this question, he wants to look at over the next five years, he expects his business to grow about 10% a year. Mm -hmm. So Marie asks, can they support the original 440 spendable cash flow plus 3% COLA? Yeah, one of the questions that came up is, that George said, hey, you know, I might sell my business now, but I'm kind of having fun in my business. We're doing really well. What if we wait five years, assume the business uh, grows at that 5% mm -hmm. a year. If we wait five years and sell the business then, what will the business be worth? And could we get 440,000, the number we really want, mm -hmm. and have that indexed at, at inflation? All you do is plug all that into Wealthy and Wise, and it gives you the answer. And the answer in this case was yes. So let's take a look. We waited five years, then we started at 440,000 of income, indexed to 3%, and you'll see, if you go down to the next graphic, you're gonna see how their net worth did. And here you can see with that 440,000, indexed to 3%, our net worth starts at 9 million, and still maintains uh, about a $10 million over their entire retirement. So again, again, the reference point here is maintaining a, a pretty even keel on the net worth itself. But that delay, that four or five year delay, I mean, you could be using insurance to make that happen. You could be using maybe a deferred income annuity to make that happen. There's a lot of great ideas to be able to make. And that five year delay bought him a little bit more time to see if he really wants to keep working, but That's it right. also gave him the time he needed to get back to his 440 and add the 3% COLA onto it. Yeah, and I wanna add one last thing. The combination of being able to value a business with the Innsmark Business Valuator in an incredible way combined with being able to plug those valuations into Wealthy and Wise and look at all their current assets mm -hmm. and do what ifs, projecting with different things, if you can develop that relationship with a client, you are one of their most trusted advisors with regard to their wealth mm -hmm. planning. Well, again, we're talking about should we sell our business and can we afford to retire? I love using this Wealthy and Wise idea to be able to show the client with and without COLA how we can actually do that. Today's sales idea is brought to you by Ash Brokerage, the practice enhancement company. And by Ensmark, the most widely used software when it comes to strategies and presentations using cash value life insurance.